the world today called the instant information age. With cellular phones and cyberspace, I hardly even recognize the place, but I bet I can find out everything I want to know about it. For the TV set, it's a little machine called the internet. It's got a little window where windows pop up, so I sat down to take a look and I started talking to it. Yeah, it's got everything from the latest fads to William Blake poems and personal ads. When I think of all the culture that I could have seen if I only signed off the instant message screen, but it's the new cigarette and it probably causes brain cancer. Let me tell you all how each day ends. I surf myself to see my friends. People post comments and they all feel cool and the boys and girls all think they're beautiful. It feeds your ego and your libido and everywhere we go somebody says they know somebody else who knows you. Come to MySpace and Twitter my Yahoo and I'll Google all over your Facebook. I'd like to believe her if you know what I mean, but there must be something in the water. We arranged to meet on the street one day, but I couldn't think of a thing to say. All that came out was LOL and BRB and TTYL. Turns out she wasn't old enough to have any real vocabulary anyway, so then I was MIA. And if you want to know something that's kind of scary, we're raising a nation full of secretaries who sit around all day and type so fast they hardly realize time has passed. Next thing you know, you're 25 years old and can enter 250 words a minute with one finger. And it's going to take more than a riddle in to save my fried attention span. When I think about how the times will change, we'll all have computer chips in our brains. Makes me wonder what's the point of being a human anymore. It's got immediate access to TV shows, ringtones, photos, and song downloads, but when it comes to living, I can't relate, or walk, or talk, or think, or wait. I'll just sit here and keep checking for that email, or that eBay purchase, evolving. And now everybody's pockets full with their very own portable oracle, and I can't believe it's all come to this. The whole thing's kind of ridiculous, cause we're never asking any questions. We just wait around to give it another answer. Now some of the people might be online part of the time, and part of the people might be online some of the time, but one day all of the people are going to be online all of the time. Mark Zuckerberg said that. Be my screen, if I could be your screen, I said that. <laughs>